On today's edition of Old House Stuff, we have a drum trap. And a cat guest without evil eyes. Look at that. Yeah, you don't even have evil eyes, do you? Uh, anyway, so this drum trap, uh, I'm assuming is plugged. If this isn't plugged, then some of the other, I think, galvanized steel from the look of it is plugged, which, I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me. The house is like a hundred years old now, or more. Hundred and five. Hundred. I'd have to look at the date. I don't even remember. But anyway, turns out drum traps are a pain in the ass. You're not supposed to use them anymore. I don't think, as far as new construction. But if one plugs up, you either get to, you know, drill the top out, and then pry it off and replace it. As I was saying, or if you're lucky. You can just do this for 20 minutes. And yes, I do have uh, ear protection. The cat doesn't. And that's who we really should be worried about. Uh, but anyway, I've got ear protection because this shit is loud. And I'm just letting the drill, or not drill, the impact kind of rest. Because <laughs> after doing that for a good 30 seconds at a time, you can tell it's struggling. You can kind of smell it. But. To be fair, this is also like a hand-me-down, hand-me-down. I think my dad originally bought these tools. I gave them to my brother, who gave them to me once we moved in. So I do have a little bucket down there. Theoretically, nothing is going to come out of there. Probably what's going to happen is there's a bunch of crap to scrape off the sides and probably hair and shit that's just jamming it up. But it doesn't hurt to be safe. If you can see that. Yeah, those are tiles for our downstairs bathroom. It's like a probably asbestos full <laughs> um, acoustic panel tile sort of thing almost so it's, it's a little bit odd but um, I do understand why they did that I think I don't know anyway I don't want to get stuff all over it because it will soak through and look like shit so let's see let's move it a little bit faster but we're gonna find out what will give first I don't know um, I did try to use these uh, you know, plumbing wrenches or monkey wrenches, whatever you want to call them. Did try to use this, but the lovely water pipes are in the way just perfectly, so I cannot get it on at the end <laughs> either way. So that and then getting a hammer and this guy in there just, it doesn't work. I don't have enough leverage and I don't have enough space to hit it with a hammer because somebody thought this was a good place to put an access panel. For reference, this is the size of the access panel. I can't get my shoulders in here, and the drum trap is right about here in relation to the access panel, so not a terribly good setup. If I had known this was going to plug, if I had known we had a drum trap here, we did actually have these tiles from the ceiling out previously because we had to repair some of them that had been leaked on. Um, well, replace them, I should say. And I would have just cut this whole thing out and put in a P-trap mm, if we had the, I don't know if we'd have the space either um, verticality-wise to do that, but, well, probably here. We could probably make it work. I don't know. Anyway, I would have just done that and been done with the whole thing because I have a feeling even after I clean this out once, it's probably going to probably gonna be an issue. But you can see it's a little chewed up there from using the monkey wrenches on it. And this is also a 32 millimeter uh, socket. I think the actual size of this is, I think the actual nut size for that thing is like inch and a quarter. But I can only get inch and three sixteenths, I think. Yeah, they didn't have inch and a quarter there. It was like the one socket they didn't have, so I'm going to keep going on this. It looks like the drum trap is clear but somewhere down the line is not clear. So I guess the next step is I do have a little zip it. I don't know, you know if that's even going to reach far enough to do anything. Since I don't know how far down the plug is, I don't know, uh, I guess, what length to get or how to address this really. But I guess I'll try the zip it first. And if that fails, I'll get a longer one and see what happens. I was able to get it unplugged using that little thing. There's a dish down there. I 
I don't think I have a video of the amount of stuff that was coming out, but it was disgusting, so you probably don't want to see it anyway. The drum trap is clear. I was able to run some water and have it go um, smoothly down. Um, the top is reusable, but I don't have a seal for it. The seal that was on there was who knows how old, so it's, it was dead. So, I've rigged up this temporary solution to try to keep sewer gas out of the house. I'm sure I won't die at all. It's probably fine. And actually, there's not really much smell coming from it anyway. Not nearly as much as some of the other pipes that I've worked with, so I'm not that worried about it. Um, so, what I'm going to do is just stop at Menards or something after work tomorrow and go ahead and grab a new top. I'll be taking the old top with me as a, you know, sort of a reference, but then we should be good to go. Slap that thing on here and call it a day. All right, it is time for hopefully the final update on the drum trap cleaning saga. Pulled a bunch of nasty ass hair clumps out of there. The blockage was actually further down the line, but I was able to, I suspect, completely clear it, or at least clear a lot out of there. I got quite a bit of material out of there. I was also able to get a little bit out of the bottom here where it comes up. That wasn't as easy to get to, even with um, gloves on and just trying to go in there and grab what I can, which is as disgusting as what it sounds like it would be. I wasn't able to do much, so I was sticking the zip it down there and twisting it around to kind of grab what I could. And that worked. I did get quite a bit out. Whoa, there's a helper kitty right here. A helper kitty. Today, I stopped by Menards and got a new drum trap cover. This is literally the only one they apparently had when I asked them anyway and I'm once again using my 32 millimeter socket it's not the correct size and I didn't pick one up because I'm not the smartest so I'm just gonna go ahead and zip this thing back on I did put a bunch of anti on the thread so hopefully if I ever have to do it again the threads don't look like this and I'm also not using this wicking I think it's called I don't I should have probably googled that I think it's called wicking it's basically string that expands when it uh, when any water touches it and that would actually probably be better than the gasket included in this because it was basically just cardboard so I I don't know we'll, we'll see we will see what happens but for now I'm gonna zip it back on there and be happy that the damn things you know just back together so I can take a shower again in this bathroom I have been taking showers I should probably note we have two bathrooms with showers so you know hey it looks the same but it's done this time I have zipped it on using the zipperator machine which, I was going through some old video, not that uh, long ago, as in yesterday, and I'm pretty sure we've had these for 10 plus years. Like I said, they were hand-me-down, hand-me-downs. I'm um, pretty sure my dad's had these for quite some time. You know, glowing review of their performance, I guess. We have, to be fair, beat the shit out of them. We leave the batteries outside in the winter all year in a not heat-controlled garage or anything like that, so... They've survived pretty well. Anyway, I think that thing's rated at... Uh, maybe 200-ish pound-feet of torque. I just kind of spun it on until it stopped spinning. That should be more than enough. And actually, I probably shouldn't have gone that far. I don't know. It's probably going to be a hard, you know, fun time getting it off. But theoretically, I'll be using the same <laughs> tool or something with even more torque. So probably won't be an issue. But it's finished. I'm going to go ahead and test it out. I don't suspect it will leak, but I would prefer not to find out after I've just taken a shower. So... Let's go test it, kitty. 